gonna bring books to class. I brought palettes. Hello everybody, welcome back to my channel. Today's video is a back to school makeup tutorial. I know most people are gonna say, back to school makeup, um, I wake up five minutes before school's about to start. Uh, this is for the makeup lovers who wake up extra early just to do their makeup. Or if they're in a rush, you can also do this makeup tutorial as well. Maybe just skip maybe the eyeliner. But if you want to see my back to school makeup tutorial, then please keep watching. Also, if you are new here, please don't forget to subscribe before you go. Make sure you turn on post notifications. That way you get notified every time I post. Let's just get right into the video. So let's get into the eyes. I'm gonna be using the Dream Street by ColourPop and the Kathleen Lights Collab. I absolutely love this palette. So pigmented, it goes on so nice, and they're just really gorgeous and so inexpensive. So that's really why I love this so, 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 so much. So I'm gonna take <clears throat> this shade right here, this top corner one. I'm gonna be using this as my transition. Transition shade. <laughs> Look how beautiful that is. Just so, so transitional. So this is a back to school makeup tutorial. Everything's gonna be super affordable, but it's also a little bit glammy because just because whoever's a makeup lover sometimes has some extra time and they want to get a little glammy. Now I'm going to pick up this shade right here. Wait, where's my finger? Oh, right here. And I'm going to use the same brush too for that. I'm then going to pick up this shade. That's probably my favorite shade in this palette this top corner right here it's not a look it's looking a little champagne-y in the in camera um it's looking a little bit like bronzy but it's actually not it's like a rose gold bronzy it's it's stunning this is probably my favorite oh so gorgeous you of course hit it not too much fallout and but again you don't even need to wet it it's so pigmented okay you guys ready Oh, how stunning is that? Maybe this is a little much for school, but not for me. This part's optional. I'm going to go in with some liner. I actually always wore eyeliner in high school. Top, bottom, everything, and mascara. I'm going to get a little closer to the, my mirror. I'm actually going to be taking my Ofra highlighter. The seasons come and go like thoughts of you. Like a wave. My face, and I'm going to be using the uh, purple primer because I want to be a little brighter and brighten up my face. Thing I'm gonna do, I'm gonna take some of my concealer and I'm gonna be using ColourPop, which is so affordable, and I think they're also at Ulta now, too, so you can get it there if you want to. And I'm gonna be covering up, you know, these people that um that are apparently resigned on my face. 
ever since using a Clarisonic. They, um, they're just like a part of me now. They don't seem to go away. I'm going to be taking this Sephora Dark Rainbow Collection and just... I'm just going to be cleaning that. And then I'm going to take this foundation, the L'Oreal True Match in W5, and I'm going to be using this all over my face. And I'm actually not going to use a beauty blender. I'm going to use my L'Oreal sponge so it's even more affordable. So I'm going to shake it up. And I'm just going to blend it all in. It's <laughs> a good sound. It's a sound of beating me up. This is a little light for me. But, um, that's because I usually wear this in the winter. Since it's so comfortable in the skin. Okay, and then I'm going to take some concealer. And I'm looking very white, so I don't think I'm going to use my ColourPop. I'm going to use my Maybelline Fit Me one. This is such a good alternative to the NARS creamy one. Oh god, I really dug that in my eye. Now this is probably like a bit much for like really, really, really late mornings, but there are some people who like to get up extra early for makeup. Um, should I contour or we push it get a little too far? My Maybelline fit me. I think this is like a stick foundation. Yeah, it's a foundation. But this is in the shade 355 to contour. Taking very little. First thing I use is this actually very affordable brush. It's by City Color. And it's in CCF07. I use this for my nose, which I really like. I'm going to be using the Rimmel Stay Matte. As you can tell, this is very much loved. It is a great, affordable setting powder. Yeah, it looks so good. The foundation is a little light on me. I'm going to be taking... Um, Physician's Formula Bronzer Booster in the shade Medium to Dark, as you can tell. Very much loved as well. And this is going to go all over my face with a light hand. I don't know if, if I'm looking really this pale or it's my camera. I don't think I look this pale. I'm taking my L'Oreal True Match Super Blendable Powder in the shade Coco. Is it Coco? Coco C8. As again, this is very much loved. And this, I'm going to be just using this on all the places I would normally bronze up my face. Lately, I've been like tapping it on. I feel like it looks very natural. So that's what I'm going to be doing today.
where I got my eyebrows waxed, <laughs> there's a line. I'm gonna be taking this blush palette from BH Cosmetics. I think this was like, I think I got this at Kohl's for like $10 or something. I'm gonna be taking this shade right here, probably mix it with this one. I'm going to take my Okra highlighter. I'm gonna highlight my nose. I don't really highlight my cheeks, but maybe we'll do a little. You know what, maybe we'll highlight up here to really deflect on the brow situation. So I'm gonna go into Dream Street and I'm going to pick up the dark shade that we used right there. And I'm gonna take the lighter one that we were using, and it's gonna go right under it. The L'Oreal Voluminous mascara. I'm gonna be taking this ColourPop lip product in the shade Strip. It's a very natural color. So it wasn't recording just now, but I had set my face using the Mario Badesco Rose Water Spray. This is super affordable. You can get this at Ulta. I love this stuff. It reminds me of the Urban Decay All Nighter Setting Spray. It's really good. It smells delicious. Yeah, um, this is the final look for my back to school makeup tutorial. I really hope you guys enjoyed this video and I hope some of the things were helpful and I hope you recreate it. I wish everyone good luck on their first day back to school and I hope you guys have a great year. Let me know what you guys want to see next and thank you all so much for watching. If you are new here please don't forget to subscribe before you go and I will see you all in my next video. Not for long, just a time, just like another season. Maybe this time next year you'll reappear for no reason. But I'll cherish every day until you come my way this season.